Luna Classic is about to make a massive move and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pingu Charts here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see from yesterday's video, we were testing these exponential moving averages as support. And as of right now, we do have a clean break of this formation. I wanted to talk about obviously that this support level here around the 17 mark acts as a very strong support because of the fact that you can see from previous price analysis, we have tested this level many times before. Now, looking at this current analysis, of course, as long as we trade above these exponential moving averages we do have a bullish case for a continuation but ideally what i want to see is a strong break above this 18 mark find it as support and then the continuation what we don't want to see is what we saw previously over here where we did get a nice breakout formation and then immediately started seeing those wake opportunities and then that continuation to the downside also i wanted to talk about looking at previous price analysis you can see that this pattern right over here on this formation is kind of like the pattern we are currently trading at you see we had the same liquidity grab of above that resistance at 18 we got those re rejection candlesticks and then the continuation and once we saw that break of the exponential moving average we had that continuation to the downside as of right now luna classic of course is testing that same level and we are continuing using that so if we do see a strong bearish engulfing candle we can start looking forward to paying at that level of 14 of course once that level of 14 is tested and we do see a break in my opinion that 86 level of support is going to be a very large move set for us us to actually kind of pay attention to the reason why that level is so important is because if we look on the daily time frames for luna classic you can see that that level acted as a very strong support before we had this massive continuation right before we had this massive move you can see that we retest this level multiple times had a nice breakout used for the 14 level as resistance as well and then the continuation right now in my opinion zooming out of the chart that would be a perfect level for a possible local bottom continuation and then the next run up on luna classic speaking about the next run up on Luna Classic, I wanted to talk about a few things. Number one, of course, is the fact that in my previous videos, I didn't mention this to you guys before. If you zoom out on the daily chart for Luna Classic, you can start to see that every time we have these massive run ups, we have a very long period of a consolidation before the next leg up. Right now, Luna Classic is in that same sort of situation where we are using this level as a consolidation, possibly for a few more days before we see that massive move on that continuation. You can see that every time we do this, we continue having a much higher of a higher high right we have a continuation and then the next breakout would be even larger so that's definitely a great pattern to kind of play out on luna classic we usually tend to see this over across these volatility pairs we saw this over on doge before its massive run up as well so just keep that in mind as you guys are trading although we don't really see that volume right now it does not mean that luna classic of course doesn't have that opportunity to continue pushing on higher we just have to be very very careful here about entering our positions if we look over here on the hourly time frames you can see that luna classic is of course still below these exponential moving averages we did have a nice bar formation play out perfectly on the hourly as well but right now in terms of consolidation i am looking for a a larger move to the downside because of the fact that you can see that the volume is starting to die in terms of a bullish case scenario we had multiple retest opportunities here around the 18 mark on the hourly immediately after we just couldn't see that volume we saw that bearish engulfing candle break down so right now i'm looking for a continuation because once again the bulls just don't seem to have have control of these levels of course on the four hours if we do see that continuation on these emas and we get one more wick to the upside start paying very close attention to see how this 18 mark kind of plays out that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit the like and subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys